Today I'm winging something and making jerk chicken. You know, the Jamaican stuff. You know, what makes it good, it's probably just as long as it's juicy and it's smoked right and follows reasonably traditional recipe, I guess. I kind of got the recipe off. You know, the munchies recipe. Look, firstly, you gotta make the brine so that, you know, it becomes really juicy. You know, the salt goes into the chicken and it absorbs more water, that sort of thing. Then, we're gonna marinate in the with jerk paste. I try to make it more traditional jerk chicken flavor as best I could. With this one, I'm gonna make it so it takes about two days. One night brining and the night after, you know, the paste. All right, for the brine, the ingredients, I use 4% salt water. So for one and a half liters of water, I used 60 grams of salt. I added a roughly around 90 grams of sugar. I used brown sugar because it's all I had. Two large bunches of spring onion. Several garlic cloves, I, you know, slapped them with a hammer and just tossed it in. A large th chunk of ginger, just a bit chopped and... Now, I'm not too sure whether they were scotch bonnets or not, but I'm pretty certain some of them were. But I did use a scotch bonnet pepper and a habanero. Now look, with the chicken, regular old chicken thigh, just put it in the brine and leave it overnight and one, maybe two nights is fine as well. Now for the jerk paste, I pretty much ground all the dry stuff first. All you need is half teaspoon ground cloves, tablespoon of ground allspice, a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a cup of thyme, like a lot, three bay leaves, one and a half tablespoons of kosher salt. After I ground all the dry stuff first, then I put all the spring onion and the wet stuff into a blender. So this includes a fat chunk of ginger, four cloves of garlic, two large bunches of spring onion, 225 ml Worcestershire sauce. Add the dry spice back into the wet mix. Look, there's just more coming for the wet mix. I just had to blend it here so that I could make room. 75 grams of tamarind paste. I just used like a fat tablespoon. And two habanero and or scotch bonnets. Obviously this is how hot you want it. You can add more if you want. 250 ml of soy sauce. Blend it into a paste and then mix it all together with the you know, blender. I'm more, of, I'm more like timid of how it, how hot it would be. Now after we waited, waited a night, possibly two, strain the chicken, and yeah, once you rinse it all off, put the marinade on the chicken. Don't you don't have to use all of it, just enough to so it's all coated. Whatever's left over, you can use that as a glaze, and you can also make some sort of barbecue with that. To cook the chicken, I used a large charcoal fire pit and block of smoke wood to smoke. Uh, I think I used cherry wood actually. If you want to smoke chicken, I find it that it's actually quite good to smoke it hotter, at least 150 Celsius. If it goes a bit too low, it doesn't cook quick enough and quite frankly, it kind of dries it out. And this is the problem I kind of faced. Well, one, I struggled to get it a bit hotter. If you get it around 150, it doesn't necessarily have to be over the fire, but if you smoke it for about an hour or so, maybe even less at that temperature, it probably should be cooked through. If you have a thermometer, just poke your chicken in the thickest part. I think the bare minimum for salmonella free is uh, something like 80, 90 degrees. And then you should be safe. Whilst you're smoking it, every 20 to 30 minutes, flip it around, rotate it so it gets an even heat directly from underneath. That's if it's underneath. You know, coat it in the jerk sauce that you made. But yeah, once it's fully cooked, you know, you smoked it and whatnot, you wanna just char it under real hot fire, just quickly, you know. Depends on how hot it is, obviously. If it's not very hot, you might have to char it a bit longer, but in the end, it should come out nice and juicy. And quite frankly, it's actually very soft. Like it kind of falls apart. So yeah, that's like my jerk chicken that, you know, I winged and it turned out pretty juicy and quite tasty actually, not too hot either. But yeah, I'd say the only mistake was cooking it too long at too low temp. It made it drier than it could have been. I think the marinade legit just makes it like fall apart. It becomes so soft. But yeah, uh, just comment and interact with the videos. It really helps out just like subscribing and liking. Just let me know what you think, whatnot.